DNA test a Nigerian footballer Kayo De Olari Wanjo has just discovered that his three children do not belong to him, they belong to his wife's pastor. Let me explain. A few years ago, a Nigerian footballer Kayo De Olari Wajo accused his wife of having an affair with his pastor. Then he revealed that his wife deceived him when they were getting married. That he later discovered that his wife was seven years older than him because he's 30 years old and his wife was 37 years old. So along the line, he complained bitterly that in the middle of the night, he discovered that his wife was always doing video call with his pastor, which I will not mention the pastor's name here because he's still allegedly. So fast forward to today, Kayo De did a DNA test and discovered that three of his children, these three boys, do not belong to him. Remember, Kayode also complained that when he lost his job, when the club he played for terminated his contract, that his wife's attitude changed towards him. Now that Kayode had discovered that three of his children do not belong to him after doing DNA tests, Kayode also risks in losing most of his property to his wife. Now the implication will be that Kayode will not have anything to his name anymore, neither children nor property, because children do not belong to him and his wife will be filing for divorce and court might be giving half of his property to his wife. It is called paternity fraud. Now, it is allegedly said that those children belong to his wife's pastor. And the pastor in question, I might not mention name, is a popular pastor you might know. Because he's allegedly, I will not mention the pastor's name here. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, this matter is a very dicey matter. Because the online in-laws and court of public opinion have already brought out sword to butcher the woman and the children mm. but the problem now is Kayode did not back up the allegations with evidence you understand everything is just allegedly and you know me i cannot come and put my mouth in allegedly <laughs> so that one person will not serve me later <laughs> i cannot put my mouth in allegedly Kayode, if you run a dna test and you come out, you are confident enough to come out to say, yes, these three children are not mine. You should also post the DNA. You understand? Post the DNA and maybe a letter from your lawyers to back it up. Because you cannot just come online and make children are involved. Even if you had found out that these children are not yours and you want to make it public, please provide evidence so that they will not have something to use to fire back. If you know person thief your money, you have evidence. You put the evidence out so that the person will not swindle their way out of it. But you didn't provide evidence. All you did was word of mouth. Hearsay. And hearsay does not hold up in the actual court of law. Hearsay is just hearsay. It's just for public opinion. Huh? Me, it's not in my place to come and say, the woman did this, the woman did that, because I d there is no evidence. I'm not there. I'm not there. I don't make malicious statements or statements that amount to libel. You know, I come here, I talk, but I know what I come here to say. I just don't come to talk. I don't put my mouth to talk nonsense. Mm -hmm. So, if you had brought out conclusive proof of DNA, then we know that this is what... Now, the woman has brought... has come out to counter you. Because me, I like to deal with facts. <laughs> the woman has come out to bring a letter and state her own side and telling you that you must provide that DNA you did. If not, you have to state on your Instagram that everything you said is a lie. If not, she will make sure she takes the children away from you. This is her own reply. Olare Waju Ayobami Kayode, my silence is enough. Don't ever drag my kids in, in your web of lies. I urge you to provide the DNA results to the public and the hospital it was conducted. As we are willing to give you the DNA. You traumatized my kids by detaining us in DSS custody. Now DNA, what a great father you are. Honestly, I'm tired. I'm so tired of this man's nonsense. 
it has to stop. Now, I knew he was not mentally stable when he pulled out a knife on me some months ago. But to go as far as ruining the lives of our innocent kids is way too far. Kyle, I didn't think you would go that low. I kept quiet on all the rumors you have been spreading because they are baseless, childish and false. But you include innocent children. Now I must speak. I never sold any of my properties or cars and given the proceeds to any pastor, bishop or imam in this world. In fact, all the rumors this mentally disturbed young man Kyle is sharing online are all false. The last couple of years in the marriage have been like hell on earth. I'm so drained and in pain. And I honestly pray this ordeal is over soon. I do not wish this kind of abuse and oppression on any woman anywhere in the world. If your story is familiar to mine, run away from that man. Leave that marriage. You are not stuck. And I pray God will heal you and send helpers your way like he has to me. Dissemination of false allegations concerning purported DNA tests resulted in three children of marriage. Demand for the immediate issuance of a disclaimer. We represent Ezine Dora Kayode. We have her instruction to write you to write you in terms of sets here on that matter of great concern. It has come to our client's attention that since May 24, 2024, various blogs online platforms have been disseminating salacious stories alleging the results of a DNA test revealed that none of the three children born during the marriage to our client belong to you. These scandalous and defamatory statements have spread rapidly, causing severe embarrassment to our client and the children. Our client has reason to believe that these baseless and humiliating allegations were contrived and strategically planted by you across all social, various social media platforms with the malicious intent of tarnishing her reputation and causing irreparable harm to the innocent children. Our client's belief is further substantiated by your conspicuous inaction since the commencement of this false narrative. Your failure to dispel this rumor or issue a disclaimer only reinforces our client's suspicions of your involvement in orchestrating this smear campaign. Our client categorically states that, contrary to the false allegation being peddled, no DNA test has ever been carried out on any of the children, as you well know. However, our client is willing and ready for such tests to be immediately conducted by a reputable and neutral institution or facility if you so desire. The impact of these unfounded stories on the innocent children have been profound since this report started circulating. They have been weeping non-stop and have refused to eat, sleep or leave the house. They have been subject to ridicule by their peers causing them considerable emotional anguish. Our client has never seen them as sad and demoralized as they are. In the light of the gravity of the situation, we hereby demand that within 24 hours of receipt of this letter, you issue a public disclaimer on all your social media platforms, prominently stating that no such DNA was ever conducted on the children, and the purported test is completely false. The disclaimer must be permanently displayed on your Instagram and any other relevant accounts to ensure maximum visibility. Failure to comply with, the, with this demand will leave our clients with no choice but to notify the court and seek full custody of the children in an ongoing divorce proceeding. We trust that you will act swiftly and responsibly to rectify this a gross situation. Please acknowledge the receipt of this letter at your earliest convenience. I will not put my mouth because this case is a very dicey one. The person that made allegation did not provide evidence. He didn't provide evidence. All he did was make allegation. Oh, my wife, this is sleeping with the pastor. The three children is not mine. Where is the DNA you did? Where is the DNA? Where is the letter of disclaimer from your lawyer? We need to know how to handle these cases. Oh, we know there are a lot of um, fraud, paternity fraud going on. But... Uh, we we need to have evidence to know <laughs> with the online in-laws. I there are not many online in-laws. They don't seek evidence. They are, oh, once somebody don't talk, pia, they don't jump into conclusion. They begin to castigate the woman. They castigate the children. Castig Remember, there are children involved in this. Children involved. So what I will advise is, Kayode, please go and get a. DNA 
with your wife from a reputable lab. Two of you will go. You do the DNA. So that if it now turns out that the children are not yours, then you post it online. Then you have weapons to use to fight her in the custody. You don't grab her like this. You grab her, she cannot wiggle away. Because right now, if if you actually did the DNA, she is wiggling her way. She's holding on to the this thing that you didn't do any DNA and there is no proof. So the onus is on you. You made the accusation. The onus is on you to provide proof of this said DNA and the three, three children is not yours. Oh, I'm not supporting anybody until I see a DNA test to prove that actually the children are not yours. Hmm? Like I say, everybody is a hero in their own story. Everybody. The man will paint himself a hero. The woman will paint herself a hero. Everybody is a hero. There are always three sides to a story. Side A, side B, and the truth. Oh? So please, let's calm down first. Hmm? Jene? Jene Wayo? Tulia. Tulia. First, until this man provides us DNA. When he provides us DNA, with the online in-laws, <laughs> we will take it up from there. But for now, he has not provided any DNA. All what he did is accusation. Hearsay. Hearsay does not hold water in the court of law. God bless you all. Let's calm down. We will still have our day in the sun with the online in-laws. Well, the matter will still go forward. We will have our day in the sun. Just calm down. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you. Hey, where are you going? It is smoky, boo. When you watch this video now, didn't you laugh? You laughed, but you still refuse to subscribe. Are you among my village people? <laughs> you are among my village people. You don't want me to make it in life. Continue. You refuse. You laughed. Shouldn't my reward be <laughs> click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and click all notification. And when you finish watching, you share. Share to your friends so that they too will laugh. So that's me too. I will go far. But no, you decided to be among my village people. You want to watch and go. <laughs> Don't be among my village people. They are not good people. I post videos every day. Every single day to make you laugh. If you join the tribe, the fantastic tribe, every day you will just be laughing. Look at this one now. This one is to watch all my funny videos playlist. This one is to watch my last video. And this one is to subscribe.